Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nick, and this is the place to be for everything landscape photography. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to paint light into your landscape photographs. Should be a good one. Let's roll that intro. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back. How was your uh, how was your weekend? Up here in Canada, it was Thanksgiving weekend. I'm still stuffed from turkey and stuffing and cranberries and pumpkin pie and all that good stuff. Wow. Woo. Hopefully your guys' Thanksgiving was as awesome as mine was. It was good, really good. All right, guys, before we uh, roll into this tutorial, if you could please take a minute, go down there, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that bell notification to let you know when I upload my next video, which is every Thursday, but I may ramp it up a bit. I mean, I released a video yesterday, so we'll see. Also, follow me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. Let's get into it. All right. So what you guys want to do is you want to open up your photo that you want to edit in Lightroom. So I have this one here of the uh, the Walterdale Bridge in Edmonton, Alberta. Uh, I got this. Uh, what time? What time did I get this? I think it was around 6:30 or so, 6:30 ish in the morning. The lights on the uh, the bridge just came on. I was here like 20 minutes prior it was like a ghost town like there was no lights on or anything so um so this photo is uh hasn't been processed or anything this is straight out of camera i'm just gonna do a couple uh a couple adjustments here what i like to do um is hit this little auto uh button here i know some photographers don't like doing that and that's fine but it kind of gives me a, a nice little baseline of where to start so hit that auto button personal preference take it as is so I like to hit this auto button it'll uh, kind of give me my exposures and all my contrast highlights shadows whites blacks all that good stuff so uh, let's take some the highlights bring it up a little bit bring the shadows down a bit take the whites up. <clears throat> Yeah, no, we'll go right there. And the blacks maybe right about there. All right, texture, I always bump this up to about the plus five marks. Same with clarity and dehaze is around the same. So this, uh, this photo is coming together quite nice. I like it. Vibrant, let's bump this up. All right, so there we go. Um, also like to sharpen it up a bit. Let's hit that around the 80 mark or so. That should be all right. All right, so I'm just doing a quick little tune tune up here to the photo. Um, just to kind of give you guys an, um, a, uh, just to kind of give you guys a, uh, a glimpse on how to paint light in. So what we're gonna be doing is, once you have everything to your liking in Lightroom, okay, so that, that was the first step, is to take it into Lightroom, make the little adjustments that you want to it. If it looks good to you, bang on. The next step is to take this into Photoshop, and how do we do this, Nick? Well, I'm gonna tell you. All right, so you come down here to your uh, little window down here, where uh, all the photographs are that you've taken through that day right click on that edit in Photoshop that was easy yeah all right let's bring Photoshop up okay so once Photoshop is up and running what you're wanting to do is you want to create a new layer so you come over here with your mouse you hover over this little uh, square with the plus icon in it that is going to hit your new layer don't hit it yet 
what you want to do is I believe it's on your Mac keyboard it's alt and I believe it's the same thing on a PC but hit I know for sure it is on PC because I'm working on PC so <laughs> hold down your alt key click on this little icon a new uh, window is gonna pop up or a new layer you're gonna want to name this let's name it light and you want to change this to overlay it's that easy all right press ok here's your new layer Woo! awesome all right so next what you want to do is uh, click on your brush tool come over here you want to go into your general brushes scroll down to where it says soft round pressure size select that one this is going to be way too big so let's bring this down that's too small bring it back up yeah that'll do for now okay so what you want to do is to have your opacity right here at the top at around the 10 mark to start and then eventually work your way up so um, I like to keep the flow at around 10 smoothing around 10 ish yeah that'll work so what you want to do is kind of move in and just start painting away just take your uh, your your mouse or your pen or whatever you're using for uh, uh, as a cursor just to start painting away Alrighty, so you're saying, you're probably saying to me, Nick, that doesn't really look like anything, but if I toggle this on and off, you can, you can see the noticeable difference. Just a little bit of brightening up there. It's starting to look good. Alrighty, so I'm just going to start painting all everything that is light around here. On the water here. In the back, the, the cityscape of Edmonton. Awesome. Let's hit that, hit that, hit that. Bring that up, get these up. Cool. Alrighty. So, with this photo, the main, of course, the, the main focus point is this bridge. So, what I'm going to do for the sake of this video tutorial, I'm going to bump this up to. Uh, let's go to 40 this will really brighten up the the bridge and um, well let's let's get paint, let's get to painting here you can already see the light just starting to pop off off of this uh, this bridge here which is fantastic look at that so now of course I'm not uh, I'm not taking my time with this at all usually I get right into this uh, this little bar here like I take my uh, my uh, my pointer here and get it right right in close and just start going through all of this but because this is a video tutorial we don't have that much time so boom so as you can see the bridge is a lot or is lit up a lot more than what it was and you guys just painted over it so or go out uh, at dusk or in the morning like I did here where it's still uh, still dark out capture a cityscape try this out for yourself it doesn't have to be as super detailed like how I do it uh, at first just kind of take a, a big brush and just kind of paint over everything see how it looks if you're starting to like it then get into the finer detail where you're uh, zooming into all of the intricate parts of your photo like these uh, these wires here holding or uh, that are connected to the suspension bridge here like all of these I would be going in and meticulously just going up and down, up and down, up and down, and then you wouldn't hit any of the sky. So, um, so I guess that wraps it up for today. 
That was a quick and easy tutorial, eh? Eh? <laughs> so Canadian of me, eh? <laughs> Again, if you guys could hit, go down below, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that notification bell. Bing! It would really help out the channel. Also, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff. Good stuff. Awesome stuff. Links are in the description below. Also, if you haven't noticed, if you keep reading down there, I listed some of my camera gear. All Fuji, of course. But, uh, yeah, I guess we'll, uh, we'll leave it at that. We'll see you guys in the next one.